We know from experience that planning innovation or planning water sensitive cities can take a really long time. And that's because it's complex. It's not easy, it's really, really complex. So research synthesis really is a process of uh, bringing people together, bringing together different stakeholder groups, end user groups and researchers to try and generate new insights on how research can be applied in a day-to-day -day format. What our process can do is to fast track that, to bring the people together at the table who need to make decisions, get them to agree on the problem and get them to agree on what they're going to do to fix those problems. Different researchers with different disciplines, scientists, engineers, planners, lawyers, economists, they're all experts in their own domain. And what we tend to find is that there's a need to cross over into other domains to actually generate things you can use, things you can do. And so our research synthesis project was originally founded to try and break down some of those barriers. It starts with simple things like language, the different way people refer to water sensor urban design. But there's some fundamental principles in each domain that have to be translated and applied across all. I hope we can do something different beyond traditional approaches and get some really great outcomes. It's having that evidence base, you know, the scale of what we're talking about. It's hard for councils to do on their own. There's a few benefits that we get out of it. We get a mix of people around the table to try and tackle the problems. And we also get the experts um, coming in from the CRC to add world's best practice. And you also get in, in a quite a short time frame, you get an outcome. We normally go out on site and kick the dirt, see what the site is actually like. We normally hear a bit about the context from the stakeholders, why this is important, but also from different perspectives. We'll hear from councils, water utilities, maybe Indigenous leaders, those sorts of things. Then we'll bring the research in and then we'll work on the key ideas to generate insights and ideas and then present them in a sort of shark tank type environment to pitch ideas back. And typically we find it works best when we bring in senior leaders from the organisation and pitch the ideas to them. So it creates a bit more pressure, puts the onus on people to kind of deliver. But we also get a receptive environment that helps to speed up the implementation after the workshop. By the end of day one, we try and land on a good identification of what the problem actually is. So day one is really about exploring the problem, exploring the as-is scenario, and getting to some point of agreement where we say, we now know what problem is we've got to solve. When we come back on the second day, it's when we go into solution mode. Overnight, the CRC team will normally do a bit of homework overnight and try and come back the next day with some propositions based on the research of how you might approach it. Really, that's about providing a framework for people to come up with ideas. Once the CRC has presented its ideas, we'll get some agreement from the partners or the, the people in the workshop of how we want to split up the day and break up and their idea is to turn that into solid, tangible propositions backed up with what's the problem, what are we trying to solve, what's the idea, what are the benefits, what are some of the costs, and really make it real. And one of the things that makes our process a little bit different to the other workshops I've participated in my career in the past is we don't just leave with a good definition of the problem. We don't just leave having integrated the, the conversation of our stakeholders. We leave with something pretty tangible that you can actually take away. Some ideas that are doable and that are practical and evidence-based process is great because you move from the first day of activity where people are a little bit um, not, not cagey but there's a sense of sort of working out who's in the room and, and the second day when you start to move through the unlocking and unpacking of ideas and starting to articulate that people get very excited and there's a real sense of excitement in the room today. We've done similar things in, in Victoria and got a number of lessons that we've come out with and it's bringing that experience, some of those ideas that have developed up in Victoria here to New South Wales. So the role of research is not to provide us with a consultancy report and a set of recommendations but it's to inspire us to think about how we can tackle quite complex issues in a more integrated and holistic way. It's having genuine buy-in from, from everyone and a genuine belief that they can make a difference. If an idea is genuinely good, then there's enough buy-in for it to actually happen. People say there's conversations that would never have happened. There's issues being put on the table that were being avoided otherwise. There's uh, yeah, research that's being applied that people otherwise had no idea what to do with. We find that when people do that, that's when we actually get some breakthroughs. That's when people come up with the genuine innovations and things that haven't been thought of before. Or indeed, sometimes it's things that have been thought about before but couldn't quite find a way to make them work.
Best way to get involved, uh, go to our website and you'll find a, a link there to research synthesis. If you've got a specific project idea, we've got a bunch of regional managers around Australia. Again, have a look on our website for their name. They can hook you up and, uh, and help you organise a research synthesis project. Love to help.